Hello there, Year 3, and welcome to your English lesson today. So over the last few days, we've been reading about the firework maker's daughter. We've been finding out uh, information from the text. We've been retrieving information from the text. And yesterday we had a little go at summarising the text. Today we're going to be moving on to something a little bit different. We're going to be looking at diary entries. Now, I think that maybe in year two, you may have written a diary entry and we might have a look at one of those diaries today. I wonder if you will remember it. Now, as we start, I've got some questions. OK, so on your worksheet, you've got some different extracts of diaries. What I want you to do is read them carefully. And then I want you to jot down some of the answers to these questions that are here on the screen now and on your worksheet. Pause the video here and have a go at answering those questions for me. Welcome back. OK, so did you decide are diaries fiction or non-fiction? I think possibly they might be non-fiction. We're going to find out that answer though later on. And what's their purpose? Why do we have diaries? Is it so people can record their thoughts and feelings? Is it so people can keep a recount of what's happened? That's something else we're going to find out. And who's the audience? Who is the diary for? Is it for everybody? Or is it just for the writer, the person who owns the diary? And what features might you find might you expect to find in this text and that is something we are definitely going to be exploring today so come with me now and let's go through diaries so our learning objective today is to identify the features of diaries now we're going to know if we're successful by being able to say whether a diary is an example of fiction or non-fiction that we're going to identify the main purpose of the text we're going to be able to identify the features that are so associated with the genre. Genre means type. And we're going to state how diaries are different to other texts that you have read. Are you ready? OK, so what are diaries? Now, a diary that's a noun is usually a private daily record of a person's viewpoint, experience and feelings. So sometimes they might be referred to as a log or a chronicle. Lots of people now talk about journaling and how they're journaling their thoughts. And all a diary is, is a, a safe space for you to write down all your thoughts and feelings. And it could be as well about what's happening at the moment. I know lots of people, especially in this current climate, are journaling and writing their diaries because it's a very different time. People want to record that. It's a piece of history that's happening now. And for you, you might want to record what's happening because it's really important history for you. So diaries allow the author, that's the writer, that's you if you're writing it, to record what they do and see on a day to day basis. Often people will spend five to ten minutes a day writing their diary. Or they could even spend up to an hour writing their diary. It's just getting down all of that information that's happened in the day. Diaries are often a fantastic source of a primary evidence in history because they've come from that exact moment and they're written by a person alive at that time. So, for example, and I wonder if you remember this year three from when you're in year two, Samuel Pepys and his recording of the Great Fire of London. Do you remember writing about that? Because I think I remember coming to your class and teaching you that part. He wrote a phenomenal diary and from his diaries, we got so much information from the Great Fire of London. OK, let's move on. So what is the purpose of a diary and who is the audience? Why do we need to have diaries? What was the reason? So diaries, and that's the plural of the noun, diary, the root word, are solely used for a person to express their thoughts and feelings about things that affect their daily lives. Like I said, it's, it's a piece of history for you. It's important for you. So it's an important place for you to record all of those things that happen to you, good 
and bad. They're not supposed to be really read by others because they're often kept private. They're kept for just you to read and for you to reflect on and for you to go back and read in, in the future, looking back on the past. So the only audience really is you, the writer. Now, whilst details of the, event, of the events can often be elaborated on, that means you can talk in more detail, you can discuss all the things that happened. Entries into the diary are often not works of fiction. They're a non-fiction text type mm. because they are specifically what happened. They're real, they're true, they're not stories. And although sometimes there might be things that you might add in there that you don't quite know are true. So, for example, thoughts and opinions and feelings of other people. What you are recording in there is true. What you are recording in there is fact. It is a non-fiction text. OK. So today we're going to explore the features of diaries. So going back to those questions at the very beginning, did you get any of these fun fe features? Did you find any of those? Could you remember from when we did it in year two? So let's have a look then. In a diary, you're going to have time adverbials and conjunctions. That's really key because you're writing about things that have happened in an order. Often, you will always get the date and often sometimes the time as well. It's really important that we use the date in the diary so you know when the event happened. If we think back to Samuel Pepys's diary, if he didn't put a date in his diary, we'd never have known when the Great Fire of London was. It's really important to date your diaries so we know when that happened. It's often written in the first person. That means you're writing about you. So you're going to write I. It isn't a story. It isn't about somebody else. It's about you and your thoughts and your feelings. So we write in the first person. It's about past events as well. So it's written in the past tense. It means that you're going to write about the things that have already happened. So it could be that, for example, when you have finished your home learning, you might want to write your diary and talk about how the day has gone, what you have been up to and what you have learnt that day. It wouldn't be written in the present tense, what's actually happening now. It would have been you're writing about events that have already happened. Diaries, too, are in chronological order. That means the events are listed in the order that they happened. That's why it's really key to have the date there. Really important to have that date so you know when each event happened. And diaries as well are in an informal style. You can write it however you like because it's personal to you. And they always contain thoughts and feelings, your thoughts and feelings, how you're feeling about an event that has happened, what your thoughts were, how you felt about the what happened during that time. OK. Now, diary writing musts. OK, they must always include the date and or time. It's up to you. My grandma used to always put the time in. So the date and time can be written at the top of the page. And I'm going to show you an example of that. So at the top corner, on the top right hand corner, we can always put the date. And it's really important that you put the date as in what day of the month it is, the month and the year. It's key to have those three parts in there. So again, we know exactly when these events happened. Linking back to Samuel Pepys, if he hadn't put the day, as in the, uh, the 21st of January, we wouldn't have known, and the year, we wouldn't have known when the events of the Great Fire of London happened. So it's really important. You could write Monday the 1st of January. You could just write the date and the month and the year. Or if you don't put it in the top corner, you can then add it into the first few sentences of your diary entry. So here's an example. Over the past few months, I've been watching my crew members in the freezing temperatures. 
This is important because it tells the reader exactly when the diary is being written. So this is being written over the past few months. OK. Or it. Oh, I've done that bit. <laughs> oh. 